Okay guys, so before the video starts, I'm going to mention it is very miserable outside, so you probably can't see it from the window, but it is atrocious rain outside, so if you wonder why aren't there many videos when me and Ross are outside, well, here's the answer, it's England, and it's just another classic example of why we don't really leave our house that much, so that's kind of why we're this weird. Anyway. Back to the video guys. Me, Spice, and I'll be your content creator for today. So, because I missed a video on Wednesday, I'm starting to do one now because it's my job. But anyway, this video is going to be on a topic close to my heart because, I mean, I'm... I feel like I... not developed the idea, but I'm a strong supporter of the idea, so I'm gonna make it public. Also, my cat's trying to distract me right now. He's right here. So, right. so, yes, the topic for this video today, as you've probably seen from the title, is the anti bandwagon effect. So, if you've heard of the bandwagon effect, where if something gets popular, such as Five Nights at Freddy's, that got popular and then everyone jumped on the bandwagon on the second game, people started getting off the third game, and then no one really cared about the fourth game. Starting to get back on the system location, but but today is going to be about the anti bandwagon effects, where you don't you see back the bandwagon and avoid it, or if you are on the bandwagon before and it gets too crowded, you jump off. I'm going to give an example of this. If, if you guys have watched Suicide Squad, you'll know that basically Harley Quinn's one of the best characters in it. But before Suicide Squad, no one really knew much about Harley Quinn, and I do have a poster of her in my, well, behind the camera. Yes, Ross, not behind you, behind the camera. But, yeah, look, there. Harley Quinn wasn't really that, well, she is, should be. She wasn't really that well known until Suicide Squad because she wasn't really made public in much films. Now, as soon as the trailer comes out, everyone's like, oh my god, Harley Quinn's so great. And as soon as the film comes out, Harley Quinn's the best character in it. From all these people who have seen, like, Suicide Squad and nothing else DC. And the anti bandwagon effect comes in here. So, anyone who's really kind of fans of Harley Quinn before the film, since the film came out, or trailers, they started to hate Harley Quinn, such as me, because it's like, everyone started to jump on the bandwagon so much, you feel like you have to get off of it, because you don't want to be seen as the norm, it's kind of, it kind of sucks in life to be on, have those effects on you, because I have it twice a lot, I mean for anything, TV shows, films, Books. I haven't even read the diversion books, I know, because of the bandwagon effect of, oh, the ban, oh, I was going to say the bandwagon effect is so good as a book, but the Divergent series is so good, oh, Tobias, you're in the book, yeah, no, I don't want to read it, oh, why not, everyone loves the books, I don't want to read it, and it'll be like that, because I don't want to read it, because so many people are into it, that I don't, want to get onto the bandwagon as that's the norm and I don't know I feel like I want to make this kind of like public to people obviously there's some stuff which is I am completely for the bandwagon such as like Fallout I wasn't really I didn't really know about it because I was so young and not aware of the world and then Fallout 4 trail came out and I haven't came off the bandwagon yet yeah, because it's great. It's a great series, it's one of my top games, and I'll do a video on my top games. But there are some things like that where it's good to be on the bandwagon, but then the anti bandwagon phase is very good in my opinion for other stuff, but can hurt to be on it quite a lot. But yeah, this fear is kind of by me. Well, it's probably made by loads of people, but this is one of mine. And it 
You may not even know about it, sometimes you may just be like, oh, I don't really like this, compared to like, everyone else. And that, you may not know, but he's probably the man like the anti-man like effect. And it plays a big role in life, because it's kind of like a psych um, subconscious, where, I don't know, you don't want to be in the same crowd as someone, you feel like you want to be, you want to be, like, unique, and it's going to get pretty deep here, like, oh, you're influenced by so many things where there's so many unique characters, where in life there's so many normal people that you feel like you have to be a unique type of stuff, which is why people choose the anti bandwagon effect to, like, hate stuff, or like stuff that not really many people like, which is probably a bandwagon effect, but anyway, yeah, kind of like that, which kind of sad to think about it, but honest, I don't really care, because I am a big believer in this effect, and it's probably something deep down, like, I'm a, psych I'm a psychotic person, or I prob I'm probably just really depressed and would kill myself, stuff like that, but honestly, if you guys aren't really aware of this, go check it out online, because it's probably on there, but I should think of another example probably not going to, but, yeah, um, oh, that's one, 21 Pilots, not exactly, 21 Pilots is also another one for me, about the anti bandwagon like effects, because, well, I don't really like the songs, it, you know, it's me, because I'm surrounded by a bunch of people who like their stuff, including Ross, including my girlfriend, including half the people I know are just like, oh my god, 21 pilots, oh, and I'll, I'll admit, Heathens is a good song, for like, two or three listening times, and then after that, it just gets boring, so I'm like, oh, okay, it's a song, you know, and I don't really like them that much, and it's kind of like, so people are liking them, no, I'm not liking them, A, because so many people do, and it's kind of like to create controversy, because I just don't like them, and that's the anti bandwagon effect there, because your mind is kind of like, well, loads of people like them, and so you want to prove them wrong, it's like, ah, oh, they're not right, that's it, that was really much bad, but yeah, that is the anti bandwagon effect, and it's, and, and I haven't been the one thing great for today, so far so as, this is my cat, who was trying to Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is one of my favourite bits to talk about in public to people, especially Hollywood things. That's one of the most recent kind of things that we you see a lot of. Or oh, I'm gonna do another one right now before I go. Lion King. It is a good movie, okay? But when so many people are saying it's one of the greatest films of all time, like Titanic, like Avatar, like them, you go against that. You go against that, and that is the anti bandwagon effect. So, she is biting my tripod. She really doesn't want to have this video published. Oh, fun fact! When I got my PS4, because, you know, PlayStation me, she decided on my first game to play with Ross, Mortal Kombat X, to bite his toes to make sure that I won, which wasn't a tactic employed by me, supposedly, but, yeah, she loves me sometimes, and then all the time she just does this, and she's addicted to crisps. Anyway, back to Mikey. It's a good movie, but when people are saying all the stuff like how great it is, and how it's blah 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 blah, I just don't really like it because of that. It's like there's so much love for it that I hate it, and that probably makes me sound weird, but I honestly don't care because I support this very and maybe you guys do. Maybe leave a comment below. Question of the day. Are you a believer of the anti bandwagon effect? And do you find yourself often on the anti bandwagon? Which is probably a bandwagon full of people anti bandwagon. So it's kind of a big whole cliche that's gone wrong. But yeah, question of the day, are you a believer of the anti bandwagon effects and are you a Oh, you remember? I'm gonna call it the anti bandwagon Society, not the A, B, F. 
I'm gonna call it the Abs. So yeah, I'll, do you believe in the Antimatic Wagon Effect and are you a lot of Abs? Yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my content for today. Leave a like if you did and share with anyone if you want. I'm still sorry for the annoying quality of my voice thanks to this camera, which isn't that great, so I want to improve it. And hopefully I do. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, peace out, guys.